we're in this really unusual time. And, and I think that there's a, a huge opportunity for us because what psychologists have found is that any period of um, severe stress, like a pandemic, um, leads oftentimes to tremendous growth and they call it post-traumatic growth. And so we have this, this period where people were doing a lot of reflecting on what do I want in my life, in my career? Um, we were all on an S curve and we were pushed off the S curve that we were on onto a new one, whether we liked the old one or not, we were all on a new one. But what happened is that we started to build this muscle of, Oh, I just got disrupted, but I actually know how to disrupt myself. I, I realized that I'm pretty good at this. And as I've had to reconfigure my life because of circumstances, I've noticed that there are some things that I want more of and the other things that I want less of, and I want a better, more, more um, well-rounded life. And so as I look at what's happening in the world, and I understand that there is burnout and there have been some very difficult things happen. I also believe that in many instances, what people are doing when they're resigning from work, they're not giving up. We are not giving up. So to resign is like, oh, people are giving up. They think they can't do it anymore. What I believe is happening is people are looking at their life. They're saying, I want more. I want something different. I want something better. They're aspiring to more. So it's the motivation. It's not the great resignation. It's the great aspiration. 